Hello and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. Today we are going to make this really pretty celebrate card. I've been going through um, old cards that I've made um, back when I first started using Stampin' Up! products, which was probably, oh, I'm thinking 15, 18 years ago. And I came across a card that I'd made very similar to this. I thought, wow, like it's fresh. Um, and let's go with a retro design. It doesn't all have to be new and exciting. So I've used Balmy Blue, Petal Pink, and Soft Sea Foam. And it's a standard card base, um, tent fold. And then I've got Soft Sea Foam that is cut five and a half by two and a half. Then Balmy Blue cut five and a half by two and three eighths. And then a piece of basic white cut five and a half by two and a quarter. And what that means is each one just sits. So just a, just a smidge of the trim shows just to give that extra little bit. And you could stamp the Celebrate in any color that you like. You can do this with any color you like. I'm using stamps from the lovely you stamp set and then uh, the celebrate from create with friends and the bling is the holiday rhinestone basic jewels so to do this I just took my piece of basic white and I just stamped randomly with the uh, spray of leaves and again you can use whatever colors you like. You can do whichever stamps you like. I just, I like this set and I don't use it very much. And I wanted to, to kind of showcase it a little bit because it's got some really cute uh, stamps in it. So I've got the balmy blue there. And while I've got the balmy blue out, I'm going to stamp the celebrate on the bottom of the card. And I can bring it about uh, almost a half an inch up and I'm sorry if I get my hair in the frame but there we go so there is the celebrate and we're done with the balmy blue uh, so we can go ahead with the soft sea foam next and just fill in with the leaves wherever we feel like we would like to have leaves in whichever direction we would like to have them knowing that we are going to come in and add the flower in the petal pink. So I'll just add a little bit, there we go. So that's the soft sea foam all done as well. Now let's come in with this little petal pink flower and we're just going to tap it in wherever we like. You can put as many or as few as you like making sure to stamp some of them off so it looks like it's a complete piece. If you wanted to do a lot of these cards like this, you could actually do this as a one sheet wonder and take either a 12 by 12 or a eight and a half by 11. Sorry, I had to do the math in my head. Um, and then uh, do it all over and then cut it up into your five and a half um, by two and a quarter. So you could absolutely do that and then you wouldn't have to worry about stamping off the edge so that um, you could make it look like it was one larger piece. So I'm going to take my stamp and seal and I'm just going to run it along the edges here. You can use your liquid glue as well if you like. Now this again, tight margins on the edges here. I'm just going to make sure that I've got it lined up all the way across and I do there we go and then I'm going to layer this up onto my soft sea foam and with this if you're not exact at your edges you can always trim a little bit off the edge um, but they are designed to go the full width of the five and a half uh, by four and a quarter card and again I apologize if my hair is in the frame just want to line this up properly there we go okay and then I'm just literally uh, flat mounting it right to the um, card front 
Again, right up against that edge, it is the same width as the card front. So you can just pop that down like that. And then we can take our, take your pick tool and just add some bling in. Uh, if you don't want to do the bling, you don't have to. Sometimes it's easier to mail them if there isn't any bling on them, um, but you can absolutely do that. You can even, if you wanted to, you could take one of these images and just stamp it down in the corner here just to, uh, to fill that space. But you don't have to fill every space. There can be some white space to rest the eye. And sometimes it actually makes the card look a little bit more attractive. I'm just trying to decide where to put that one. And I'm gonna put one more down at the bottom here. So there is a quick and simple, but very, very effective card you can give to somebody to celebrate anything. It could be birthday, it could be the end of the school year, it could be anything. Um, using the Create with Friends for the word and the lovely you for the stamped images in Soft Sea Foam, Balmy Blue and Petal Pink using the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. So thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon.